Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a literal game changer for you. If you've been dealing with low FPS, stuttering, and general instability in Black Myth Wukong, this video is for you. I'm going to show you a quick and easy fix that can boost your FPS from 30 to 120, giving you that buttery smooth performance you've been looking for, not just in this game, but in all others. Stick with me and let's get right to it. For those who haven't heard of it yet, let me introduce you to lossless scaling. This tool allows you to activate frame generation in any game on any GPU, often delivering better results than the native frame generation some games offer. The latest update, LSFG 2.3, brings a game-changing feature X4 frame generation mode, which creates three intermediate frames. Ideally, you want to start with a base frame rate of 60 FPS, especially if you're gaming on a high refresh rate monitor 240Hz or higher, but it can still work wonders even at lower frame rates. Alright guys, I decided to put Black Myth Wukong to the test using the benchmark tool available on Steam to see how well my old PC could handle the game in terms of frame rate. I set the resolution to 1080p, turned off motion blur, and selected a super resolution of 66, which is equivalent to FSR's quality mode. For the rest of the graphics settings, I followed tips from a few YouTube videos on ideal settings, but honestly, the results were far from impressive. As you can see, the frame rate is hovering between 50 and 60 FPS, but unfortunately the gameplay still feels choppy due to frequent stuttering and instability. Check out the 1% low FPS, it's sitting around 28 to 30, which really shows just how rough the fluidity is during the test. Now let's fix this using two powerful tools, Lossless Scaling and RevaTuner Statistics Server. With the latest update, Lossless Scaling's frame generation is now at version 2.3, introducing the new X4 mode. This allows for smoother performance by generating three intermediate frames. In the other settings, I adjusted the new max frame latency option to two, which helps unlink the frame rate from my TV's refresh rate. I also enabled the Draw FPS option to track the FPS boost with LSFG 2.3 in real time. In RevaTuner Statistics Server, we'll cap the frame rate at 30 FPS matching the 1% low FPS we identified earlier. This ensures smooth gameplay without any stuttering. Next in Lossless, scaling click on the Scale option, wait about 5 seconds, and watch the magic happen. The screen might flicker a bit during the process, don't worry that's completely normal. We successfully boosted the frame rate from 30 to 120 FPS, giving us the smoothness and stability you'd expect from 120 FPS gameplay. Now, let's jump into the game's benchmark and see how it performs. We've achieved stability, which is clear from the 1% low FPS and the frame time graph, showing no oscillations. While my base FPS is 30, the fluidity now feels like 120 FPS, delivering a much smoother and more enjoyable experience than you'd expect from just 30 FPS. Keep in mind, your results may vary depending on your PC. I don't recommend using this setup with base frame rates below 30 FPS, as you'll encounter significant graphical errors and increased latency. The X4 frame generation mode does offer a huge FPS boost, but it also raises the risk of visual glitches and high latency. If that happens on your system, Try scaling back to X3 or X2 mode. Now, let's dive into some key tips for using lossless scaling effectively. Game display. Set your game to borderless full screen. If that's not available or doesn't work, switch to windowed mode. Just keep in mind, lossless scaling doesn't work with exclusive full screen. Scaling settings, set scaling mode to auto and scaling type to off. This way, you're playing at native resolution unless you want to tap into the app's upscaling feature. Latency. Enable allow tearing to reduce latency, though it may introduce some screen tearing. At high frame rates, this trade-off can be worth it. Controller versus mouse. Using a controller might give you a smoother experience since latency is harder to notice compared to playing with a mouse. In conclusion, with the help of lossless scaling and RevaTuner, we've managed to turn a base FPS of 30 into a fluid 120 FPS experience, offering much better stability and smoothness. While the X4 mode can push your frame rates to new heights, just be cautious of potential graphical errors and latency. If you run into issues, scaling down to X3 or X2 mode can make all the difference. Thanks for sticking around. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on optimizing your gaming performance. Leave a comment if you have any questions or want to share your experience with these tools. Until next time, game on.